Welcome back. Today I'm testing this portable 3D scanner from 3D Maker Pro. The model is called Moose, priced at 490 at the time I'm editing this video. It comes in a very good looking case. Let's see what's inside. One paper manual. Data cable. Turntable surface. USB cable for the turntable. Turntable, no on off switch. Power adapter. Scanner body and tripod. The build quality is nice, solid, and heavier than expected. I'll probably use it handheld most of the time, but here's how it attaches to the tripod. After installing the software, which I believe is a version of JM Studio, it automatically detected my Moose scanner. The light flashes once it's successfully connected. There are on-screen tips that tell me if I'm too close or if the brightness is too low, so I can adjust the lighting or distance easily. I'm using the handheld mode with the turntable. This is my first scan. I'm still learning. Start by selecting and removing unwanted parts. You'll notice I didn't capture the bottom of the object, but don't worry, I can scan it separately and merge it later. Second scan, focusing on the bottom. Clean it up a little. Now I'll select both scans and see what happens if I use auto-align. Very cool, but not what I want. Let's go back and try manual align. Pick three recognizable points, just roughly, and hit align. Voila, not bad at all. Now it looks like a pear. I'll select fill gaps and all the auto fix options. Export as STL. Even though it captured textures, colors, and even the label sticker, I don't need those since this is for 3D printing. Open it in Lubin, Send it to my artisan, and hit print. One hour later, Let's compare the real object to the printed clone. Since it's an irregular shape, I marked where the sticker was to line it up. Not exact science, but pretty accurate, I'd say. Ignore the bottom. I plan to sand and paint it. If you have a multicolor 3D printer, you could probably print the whole pair in color and skip the finishing process. Bonus test, reflective object. Now I'm trying to scan something with reflective parts. Using the included turntable, the software auto detects and removes the turntable surface, which is nice. But as you can see, reflective surfaces appear transparent, not great. 
Ideally, you'd use scanning spray. I didn't know that. Learned something new today. Since I don't have any, I just sprayed it with regular spray paint. It's just a pair of pliers, and it actually looks cooler now. I started by scanning the empty turntable. That helps remove the surface later. Then, I placed the object and started scanning. Not perfect, no problem. Just scan more. After manual alignment like before, here's what I got. Sent it to print. I made myself a lightweight, convention-safe prop that looks almost one-to-one. -one. How else can I use this 3D scanner? I can make custom tool holders for those oddly shaped tools. Thanks for watching. See you next time.